A big load of money from the federal government is expected to speed up mail delivery across our nation. 13 on your side's Alexis Dumerchine shows us the changes now in place at the USPS Sorting Center in Kalamazoo. The investment by the federal government is part of a $40 billion initiative to modernize and revitalize the Postal Service. Santa has us on speed dial for a reason. We take very good care of business and we're proud of that. The process to deliver holiday cards and packages this holiday season has just gotten faster. As part of its Delivering for America plan, the U.S. Postal Service is rolling out significant investments across the nation, starting here in West Michigan. This machine is a game changer because, as I said before, normally you'd have people manually throwing mail, tossing mail into containers, and that was three to 500 packages per hour. Now it processes up to thousands. The machine takes it on a conveyor belt, reads that barcode, it processes up to 5,000 packages an hour, so that's 10 times faster than we had before. So as you can see, most of the carriers are on the street delivering the mail quite early today, and we want to take care of those customers. The sorting facility in Kalamazoo serves 98 carrier routes and processes mail for 95 other cities, improving overall efficiency and reducing transportation costs also improving the speed of mail delivery during this holiday season. It scans that barcode, so it eliminates the manual error toss that could have happened with a carrier before. These are scanned by the machine and automatically deposited into the carrier's hamper. Efficiency rate is over 99%. USPS has also added newer vehicles to this rollout as well, emphasizing the feedback they took from their staff. We're going to be able to take all those packages out in one trip. They're safer, they have more lighting, they're brighter, they're fuel efficient. And as I said before, we made sure we invested in our carriers and what they wanted us to have for their features. The Postal Service says many of its delivery vehicles have not been updated for more than 30 years. In the newsroom, Alexis Dumergine.